Hey everybody, it's now time for me to thin the fruit on my red Bartlett pear and my Fuji apple trees. So we're gonna talk about how I do that and I'll show you exactly what I do. First of all, I wanna show you the size of the fruit and this is the indicator for me of when to now thin them. So before I told you to hold off on thinning them because they were very small, now they're about an inch or so and that's the time that I'm going to thin them. A six inch measurement is what you need to remember so I'm going to show you what I do. I take my hand and I measure with a measuring tape six inches. It actually comes from my thumb up to my middle finger. That's my six inches so that will be the measurement I will use on the trees. I'm starting at the end of a branch and finding my first apple. In this case, I have a couple of apples growing at that node, and so I'm going to look for the weakest one and trim that one off. Next, I'm going to go six inches down that branch to the next node or to the next apple that I find and do the same thing. If there's two apples, I will trim the weakest one off. I will leave the strongest one. So basically what I'm doing is I am going down the branch every six inches and making sure I have apples no closer than six inches to each other. Now let me explain why I'm doing this this year. This is new for me. I've not used this technique before. I read this on a state extension office website. They talked about for apples and pears to trim or thin every six inches. So you don't have apples or pears any closer than six inches to each other on a node. So that's what I'm doing. And again, I'm looking for the, the weakest apple, whether it's the smallest or if it's a diseased apple, I'm going to remove that one and keep the other one. I will tell you that this is not a task that I enjoy doing because I like to have as many fruit as possible on my trees so that I can harvest as many fruit. But last year I did not thin my pear tree enough and I got smaller fruit. So I'm taking the plunge this year and doing a lot of thinning. Uh, the thing that just is a little bit nerve wracking is I am taking this fruit as I cut it off and I'm putting it in a bucket and I'm seeing how much I'm actually cutting off. So it's a little nerve wracking to cut off that many fruit off of a fruit tree when you're wanting a lot of fruit. But I think it's the right thing to do and we're gonna try it this year, see how well it works if my fruit gets bigger. Last year we didn't have apples that we could eat because we had worms and if you've watched an earlier video of mine, you know that earlier this year I sprayed my trees with an organic spray so that I wouldn't have worms. So we actually have a lot more apples than we've had ever before on this tree. I'm going to continue doing this on the rest of the apple tree and then we will get to that pear tree. Now for the pear tree. Pears grow a little bit differently than the apples do. They grow in clusters. So unfortunately, I will be having to cut quite a few of these off too, uh, more than the apples, but there are quite a few on this tree. So I'm gonna do the same thing starting at the end of a branch. I'll find the first pear, and if there are two, I will snip off the weakest one and keep the strongest one. And then I will continue down the branch every six inches and do the same thing I did on the apple tree.
Here's all that I trimmed off the tree so you can understand why it's not my favorite job. And here's what the trees look like now. You can see there's a lot of less fruit on these. But as I said, this should result in larger fruit. Follow along each week and I will give you updates on how these trees are doing and let you know at the end if I would employ this thinning technique again. Also, leave me a comment on how you thin your fruit trees. While I'm out here in the garden, I have to show you my climbing rose. It is beautiful this time of year. This is not a continuous blooming one. It blooms one time a year and then it's done, but it is looking so good. We recently had a rainstorm, so some of the stems are drooping a little bit, so I need to help them get attached back to the arbor. But I just had to share the beauty of this rose. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.